Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hi guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. Today is Saturday morning and I'm going on the road to run some errands. Now I am doing all the things that I can't do in the week because in the week is just too busy. Work, work, work. Plan, plan, plan. Do, do, do. I should, no, no, not do. Okay. We don't do, do, do. We don't do, do. <laughs> Guys, you probably wonder why I'm laughing, but welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm laughing because I've got my daughter next to me. And um, when I've started this thing about two, three times already, and because I use the word do, 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 she starts singing. Return of the Mac. I know. Return of the Mac. Oh my gosh. Return of the Mac. Uh, uh, uh. You know I want you. Here I come. Oh, see? See now, see, when I put her on the spot now, she doesn't say nothing. But when, I'm when I don't want her to sing, she's there, do, 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 because I do, do, do. You know how it goes, guys, anyway. But anyway, let's start again. Return. Welcome to us. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're in one of the moves today, yeah? Like, I tell you this little story, yeah? When, when, when we were leaving the house, and I said to her, I'll meet her at my car, right? Because my car is like parked half a mile from my yard so obviously i said to her, i'll drive because we're going out today i'll tell you why we're going out in a minute so we both met up outside i said i'll meet you outside because she's got to get something from her car for me to go to my car so when we met up now i'm looking at her and she's looking at me and i'm looking at her and we're looking at each other and i'm thinking why are we dressed the same twinning guys we look like two christmas trees two walking trees <laughs> Green, both got green on, both got black on the bottom. What's that all about? Because I know I've heard about syncing up, but this is ridiculous. Syncing up in clothes is happening too often. And guys, you wouldn't even believe while I am talking, it must be a green day because here comes two guys wearing green they're as well. Both wearing green, both as well. wearing green, and he's got a green, and they both got on green hats. They both got on green hats. I don't want to, I don't I'm talking about them, but you're gonna see them walking past now. If you look at the back, can you see? The other one's got on green underneath. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I live in a green area. Do you think that's what it is? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, after all that much ado, welcome to a brand new vlog. Sorry to take so long to welcome you, but welcome to a brand new vlog, guys. Um, today I am going out to run some errands um there's a couple of reasons i'm going out today and i figured you know what let's kill two birds with one stone and just go to one shop so what it is i'm going to go to asda for two reasons now i always say that and come out with a darn trolley for what is there fluffing my car yeah anyway so i'll go to i'm going to asda and more than likely i'm going to come out with more than i really bargained for but i'm going to be try to be good but the whole point is why i'm going out to asda because you know a few weeks ago i don't know if you guys saw a vlog but i did where i went and tried out um pumpkin spice latte at um where did we go starbucks starbucks yeah we went to starbucks and tried it out and i really really liked it and um all over tiktok and instagram i can see that they're doing oh well, asda is doing a dupe version or their version should i say of spice pumpkin latte so we're gonna hunt it down we're going on the hunt aren't we yep we're going on a hunt, like two Christmas trees. I don't know. <laughs> so we're we're so basically we are dressed like Christmas, looking for autumn items. We just need to find our Santa. Do you think so? <laughs> no. I never cream my hands, guys. You would never believe this cream, right? <sighs> Even the darn cream is green. Can you believe it? This cream is called Winter Cookies by. Lucora. Now, guys, if you've been with me for a little while since last year, I bought this last year in Aldi when they had all the Christmas um, creams. I am sick and tired of this cream. It won't finish. But I will use it. I used it throughout the summer and it says winter cookies. I used it in the autumn. It's saying winter cookies. I used it in the spring and it was winter cookies. I am fed up. I want to move on to the red one, which is Christmas. And it's going to be a year later. I don't even know if it's still any good. I mean, they say it's got two years shelf life, but I don't know. But I am so fed up of this one. 
But you know what? Talk about value for money. But guys, I like variety. I like to use a cream maybe a month or two. But blinking nearly 12 months? The same cream? Is it just me or? They're not supposed to last that long. Really? Especially when you're using it every day. I'm done. I'm done. Anyway. So the other reason I'm going to answer as well is because my daughter, my other daughter, she's not feeling too well at the moment. She's a little bit poorly. So what better to then have mama soup? So I'm actually going to make her um, a chicken and pumpkin soup, um, Jamaican style. And that's something that's sort of been, you know, it's, it's culturally a thing that, uh, yeah, we really enjoy. And also my mum used to make me soups when I wasn't, wasn't too great as well. So, and they say chicken soup is good for when you're poorly. So it's kind of something that I always do. So she's not she's not 100% in the minute, poor thing. So I want to make her chicken and pumpkin soup. And also, I know you guys have been on at me. Lois, when are you going to do some cooking? So uh, today is the day. Today is the day. We're ready. Ready when you are. Guys, I have to do nothing better than to just start the car and get going. So I will see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Hey guys, well, I am knackered. Of course, you know how it goes, guys. You go in there for a few things. I thank God I'm sitting back in the car now. I'm tired. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. Mm. And we went in for a few things, as you do, as you do. Me and my daughter split off. She went her way, and then we kind of met halfway in the middle. And yeah, because we don't look like two pine cones walking around the place. You know what I mean? So. So we, we kind of met up and split off and everything and um, my daughter's dragging me to the Christmas Ark. Oh my gosh, guys, they've got so many Christmas things in there. Like, I'm thinking, okay, one and two little things. And it seems to be the theme of this year is really heavily like, gingerbread, isn't it? It's, now it's more the actual gingerbread man, person, <laughs> whatever the, the character is they're making. But it's all gingerbread styles, do you know what I mean? So that is really heavy in terms of gingerbread and you never guess what somebody decided to bring me this um blanket and it's a cat was it a cat lady it's a yeah cat blanket bleeding cheek but guys i'm tired i'm so tired i went in for a few things and yeah i came out and as you can see there's a whole lot of stuff in the back so it is what it is and uh, we are where we are and we're going now aren't we yeah that as was an experience yeah, it's a big Asda. It was a really big Asda. But hey ho, we go. I need a cup of tea. Cup of tea is required. So we're going home now, yeah? We're done? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're done. See you in a bit. Right, guys, I am finally back home now. Finished shopping, 
packed away my little bits and pieces. I mean, I didn't buy that much. I bought a few things, but not that much. But what I really, really went out for was just, you know, obviously to get the bits for the pumpkin soup. So I've got that. Great. But the other thing I went for is for this little baby. And I must admit, I didn't get it in the first shop I went to, but I tried another one, another small Asda, and they had it. Now, this is your festive pumpkin spice latte. And guys, I've seen this on Instagram, and I thought, oh, I wonder if I can get hold of it. And I know Asda are doing it. I don't know any other um, supermarkets that are actually doing it. And if I do, I would have gone there. But Asda is the only one I know of. And this is really hard to get hold of. I've been to several. I've been online. It's sold out. But I got hold of it, guys. Pumpkin spice latte. Now, it says just add hot water and then you'll get a magical Christmas from Asda. So I want to try it. So, guys, I am going to make it a little later on. And, um, yeah, I can show you guys when I try it and see what it's like. Or I'll do a taste test for you and let you know what it's like. It came in at £2.50 for that. But, um, yeah. But anyway, guys, also what I picked up in Asda while I was there, I saw this. Isn't that cute? It's a little gingerbread, um, like, tea bag holder. So, yep, got that. That's cute. I think it's about two quid for that. But, guys, oh, when I got home, I was so excited when I saw my delivery. Now, when I saw my delivery, I think it isn't. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it's actually... I'll show you the box. It's a... Spice, spice. It's a pumpkin waffle maker. Guys, I have ordered this over two months ago and it's just arriving at the end of the season. Like, we're going into Christmas now, do you know what I mean? But you know what? I'm still excited. I'm still going to make it. So, guys, I couldn't believe it. I've had everything waiting. I bought my waffle, um, little packet waffle mix waiting for it. I bought the adapter waiting for it. It's taken forever taken forever to arrive from the USA so yeah I'm so I'm so chuffed I wanted this last year guys I wanted this last year but last year I couldn't get hold of it so I've sort of kept it in my basket my Amazon basket for the longest time and when I saw it I thought yep 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 I've got to order it I mean it was early like I think it was July I ordered this around July and it's only now arriving literally on my door and I've but you know what? I'm glad I've got it. So I'm going to try it out. What I'll do, I'm going to make, yeah, one splash. Should I, guys? Yeah. But you know what? I've waited so long for it, guys. I've got to do it. So I'm going to actually make waffles and I'll make it. Let's make it together. <laughs> oh, you can walk it through with me and we'll make it together because I've never done it before. I've never made this kind of waffles before. So um, I'm excited to try it. And then after that, so I can have waffles for lunch. Yeah, and then after that, I'll start the pumpkin soup. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> right, I am now back, guys, and I'm going to get started with making my um, pumpkin waffles. So, guys, now, you didn't think I was going to do it from scratch, did you? Because, hello, I had this packet in my house for weeks. So, I've read the packet now. It says I'm going to need 150 mils of water. So, I've got that check. It says I'm going to need two eggs, got that check. And it says I'm going to even need butter or spray, I've got that check. So I can make my waffles. So guys, what I'm going to do, obviously you're going to want to see me do it. Do it with me. So I'm going to probably move the camera more down to here. So you'll probably hear me, but you won't see so much of me. But you'll see what I'm trying to do. Right guys, I'm in my favourite position, leaning on my kitchen counter. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to make a start on the um, the waffles. So I've got me, me mix, my packet mix. I've got my oil, my spray oil, and I've got my eggs, three range eggs. And I've got my water, my water, 150 mils of water. So let's put this in first. Start off with this pumpkin mix. I've never made this before, guys. It's my first time. So um, if you guys do it any differently, or if you make it from scratch, then let me know. I mean, this is my first time doing it with a waffle maker. So probably next time, I'll make it from scratch. Be a bit more adventurous. So it says, put that in there. So I've got to put two eggs in there. Whoa. 
One. These eggs are quite big. Two eggs. What else do I need? And it also says 150 mils worth of water. So that's 150 mils in there. To be honest, I could just mix it with my hands, but I don't know. Now let's go with the mixer. It says use a mixer. So let's go with the mixer. Oh. I don't, I don't know. I hate this mix. I think I hate it might fly up. Oh, that's all right. I think that's it. Didn't take a lot of mixing. That's all right. And guys, here is the waffle maker. Yeah. Now I will have to tell you. When I first um, was reading about it, I thought to myself, "Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll get the adapter for it." Could I find the adapter? Everywhere I went, I can get the adapters from um, the UK going abroad, but I couldn't find it easy to get the adapters from abroad for the UK use. Guys, but I found it, I found it eventually. So let's plug that in. Right, place the appliance on the table and dry surface. You know what guys, let me start again. I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe it out because yeah. Let me plug it out. I've never used it before, so let me go. Let me quickly wipe it out. But it says no no water. So have I got to just I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to sorry. Sorry, I'm gonna have to yeah. Maybe I'm a little bit anal guys, but I I, I think I need to wipe it out, don't you? With a, with a wet cloth or something. You can't immerse it in water. Fair enough, I understand that. So I wiped it with a damp cloth. Okay. So let's plug it in. Once the cooking service reaches the optimal cooking, the indicator light will automatically go off. Now you're ready to get cooking. So the light's gone off now, guys, we can see that. And it says, spray it with some cooking spray. So I've got me spray here. That's all done. So pour this onto the surface. Now guys, I don't know how much to use. Okay. I don't know. I think that should be enough. Then it says, once waffle is cooked onto your preference, carefully remove it. Well, my preference is that it's cooked, guys. But I don't know what that is. I don't know. Let's keep on looking. Do you think that's long enough, guys? That's about a minute, isn't it? I don't know. Let's give it another minute. Mmm, it's still stuck to the top, so I think it's not ready yet. Oh, so it's come back on green again. Ah, maybe that could mean it's ready then. I wonder. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I think it needs to go down a bit, guys. I, I think it needs to be a bit more brown. They look pretty brown on here. Give it a few more minutes let's give it another let's give it another minute or so and see what happens yeah, yeah that smells a bit like it's a bit more well done now oh. <laughs> guys my first look at that <gasps> i'm gonna make some more let's pour some more in there I'm gonna taste it, guys. I can't, I can't wait, I'm sorry. But I've, I've got to taste it, I've got to see what it's like. Now, let's see. Now I have got some strawberries. Oh, maybe, oh. Got to have the maple syrup, guys. I don't know if that's how much you put, I don't know, guys. Or I could have put that on it. 
that's the pumpkin spice syrup i don't know let's try it first okay let's try it without a syrup The syrup is very strong, very sweet. This, to me, it needs something like bacon. Bacon and some hot dogs, maybe. Let's see if that was ready. Yeah, that's ready. Woo -hoo -hoo. Here we go. Pour some more in there. Guys, I have made them. Here is the finished plate of my pumpkin waffles. How cute. How cute. And then I'm going to finish it off by pouring some maple syrup all over it. Lovely. And breakfast is served at the wrong time of the day, so it's going to be for lunch instead with some fruit on the side. How cute. Look, can you see it? I'm so chuffed with myself. <laughs> right, so... I'm going to grab my lunch quickly now and then I'm going to come back and uh, start the pumpkin soup. Yep, so much to do. Long, long afternoon of cooking, cooking, cooking and then I can sit down and chill. So guys, I'll catch up with you after my lunch. guys I've showed you everything that I'm going to be using and right now I've prepared my chicken so my chicken has been washed and um, cleaned with a lemon and vinegar I've also got all my different seasons here that I'm going to be using I've also got um, my spring onions normal onions half an onion here seven sprigs of thyme some three cloves of garlic some pimento um, seeds uh, fresh ginger and a bonnet pepper in there also got some um, potato King Edward's ordinary potato and also I've got my pumpkin here so I prepared everything else oh also I've got some corn here and some carrots and they're all ready to go in and that's my flour to make my dumplings in Jamaica or the Caribbean we call them spinners but they go into soup so I'm gonna prepare just the pumpkin now. And we only want half of this. So as you can see, let me fix the camera down some more, you can see a bit better. <clears throat> yeah, that's better. So here I'm gonna prepare half of the pumpkin. We only want half. Now I'm going to swap to a smaller knife for this, so it's easier. So you scrape out all the seeds. And actually what I'm doing now is taking all the skin off of the pumpkin, as you can see, yeah. So all the skin's coming off. That's one thing, pumpkin skin is very hard to get off. So I'm doing all that.
So that works out to be about a, a cup, I would say, of pumpkin, all chopped up. Now once you've kind of sauteed it off very, very lightly, you then add in probably about, I'd say, six cups of water, boiled water. Turn the fire up and let that bubble away. I'd say for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, let that bubble away. So put the lid on and let that bubble away. Right, so while my soup is now bubbling away on the fire, I'm now going to make the dumplings. Now, dumplings is what we call spinners, and they're basically like little spinners that go into the soup. So I'm gonna make it and have it just sit in here until it's ready to go into the pot. So I'm gonna have one cup of flour in here, uh, about a quarter of a cup of water and a sprinkle of salt, mix it all together into a dough, and then leave it until it's ready to go in with the rest of the food. and we're going to add the water in to make a paste. So you add the water gradually. Don't add more water guys, all you just do is keep kneading until that dough picks up all the excess flour. So all you keep doing, just keep kneading it. As you can see there, I've now got my dough. So just leave it there, make sure it's kneaded nicely. And what I tend to do is leave that there, cover it with a clean dishcloth until I'm ready to use it. As you can see guys, my soup is bubbling away nicely. And now it's time to add um, the sweet corn, the carrots and the potatoes. My daughter's loves spinners. She'll just eat the spinners alone, nothing else. Now, once you've added all your spinners in, as you can see, the soup is a bubbling away nicely. Now, the last thing to add to it now would be your soup mixes. So you've got your pumpkin and you've got your cock flavor soup mix. So you just add the full packet of the pumpkin mix the chicken, I only add half of this. I don't want the whole lot. I'm just gonna add half. Some ground black pepper, because I do like pepper in my soup. I do like pepper. I'm a real fan. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, that's a bit much. Well, you know what, let's leave it. I like it hot anyway. That's a lot of soup, a lot of pepper, but that's okay. I like it hot. If anything, I'll just add more water to it if it's a bit too spicy. So we're gonna leave that now to bubble away for probably another, I'd say 20 minutes at least, and just leave it and let it do its thing. So guys, my pumpkin soup is now ready. The food is lovely, the spinners are there. Everything is there, your noodles, everything is there. The soup is ready and it's time to dish up now. And here we have my pumpkin soup. Guys, there it is. Beautiful pumpkin soup. Right guys, so I'm gonna have a bit of a taste test from the actual pot itself. And see what I actually think of the soup. 
Oh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Soup's ready. Come in. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> She's thinking that's how they do it, waiting for a soup. Guys, this is nice. There's your hey. soup. Ooh. Is it hot? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got a spoon? Yeah, thanks, Mom. Alright, taste it. What do you think? Let me let me see what you think. It looks lovely. It's nice. I'm gonna dish mine up now. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Winner every time. Winner every time, guys. Oh, this is lovely. It is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, thank you, Mum. If you want to make my soup, I'll put the recipe down below. Um, but happy pumpkin soup eating. Mmm. Guys, I've been in the kitchen long enough now. Time for me to go down and watch Strictly. Oh, yeah, talk about timing. Yeah, so now. <laughs> See, guys, guys, I've got to go. See you in a bit. Hey, it's Sunday afternoon, and I am just enjoying a lovely cuppa of spiced pumpkin latte. Really, really nice. It actually feels like a bit of a luxury to drink this, to be honest with you. Well, it would do after we follow the ingredients properly. Well, not the ingredients. We followed the recipe properly off the back of the tin because it says that I think you put like seven spoons in and we're thinking seven spoons that's a bit much in it but when we put like three it tastes like buck but we put the seven spoons in and guys honestly it tastes really nice really really luxurious it feels like a bit of a treat so um I am so pumped to be having my spice pumpkin latte I don't have to go do Starbucks and uh, spend a fortune Cheers. So guys, right, I'm just sitting here chilling now because I've had a lovely morning at church, just come back from church and I put my dinner on because that's, girls, you've got to have your dinner cooking. So I put my dinner on because I'm looking forward to my curry chicken and rice. So I put my dinner on, but in the meanwhile, while that's cooking and bubbling away, I thought, let me start to organise the rest of my week. I mean, I just want to have a, a quiet Sunday evening. So let me get this done now. And that way, at least later on, I can just kind of relax and catch up on, um, yep, come dancing results. Yep, guys, yep. So I, I thought, let me go through my diary. So I know what my diary contains for the week ahead. I know sort of what meetings are coming up, what my days look like, roughly. So I need to prepare my outfits for them. So I thought I'd share it with you a few of my outfits for the next few days and um, give you an idea of like the kind of things that I've sort of put together. Let's put down my drink one minute. So I know at the beginning of the week I've got a really hectic couple of days. I've got meetings back to back. I've got long days and with long days my outfits need to hold up from morning till noon till night because some meetings can go on quite a while. Also, I need to know that I'm wearing comfortable shoes, I'm wearing comfortable clothing, so that I feel comfortable throughout the day. It's got to hold me up, it's got to live up to my day and, you know, make me feel as comfortable as possible, as much as possible, so that at least it's, I don't have to worry about it, do you know what I mean? So, one of the things I picked out for one of my meetings, that's literally going to go on the whole day, is this dress. Now, this dress, I got this last year from Primark. And um, what I love about this dress, it's not too thick. It's kind of stretchy and it, it's, it's very breathable and it can move with you. But that's very easy and comfortable to wear. And with that, I literally just throw on a pair of boots. Um, I'll show you the boots. Because these boots, I'm literally, I haven't got time to be changing different shoes, different days, worrying about what goes. So I just get a pair of boots that works with everything. Now, let me show you the boots that I'm going to wear. Now, what I love about these boots... They're kind of long line boots, only not very high because, as I said, it's got to take me through the whole day. These are your extra long boots, guys. And what I like about these kind of boots is that I don't necessarily want to wear tights um, because sometimes tights can bite and cut into you. But with these long line boots, they're, they're really long over your knee and they keep your legs warm and it kind of meets the dress. So that way I'm covered. So probably with that, I'll probably put on my coat which this is um, 
just a kind of wool coat. Uh, this one, I've had this a couple of years, but you can still get these type of styles out now. So that's kind of what I'm going to put together. And more than likely, as I say, I just literally want to put on and go when I'm getting ready in the mornings. Um, so with that coat, more than likely, I'm going to have my jewellery. Let's see, what jewellery? Let me show you the jewellery that I tend to, to wear. I just want quick, easy pieces that I can wear. Sorry, guys. <laughs> showing you my back i just want quick easy pieces that i can put on so in terms of my jewelry um i just tend to wear very straightforward hoops um not too big these are the hoops that i tend to just put on very simple hoops like this got these hoops from anna luisa um all my links i'll put down below in case you like these kind of things this is absolutely gorgeous had this for a while now love it and i wear it and look at the color Still got the lovely gold on it. And also with Ana Luisa as well, um, I've got one of their chains that I wear. And I wear this quite a bit because what I like about this chain, it can take you from morning to evening and look quite stylish with what you're wearing. And more than likely, I'll put on the same jewellery every day because it's very simple, easy to go, and I don't have to think about it. Also, in terms of accessories, with that, I'll probably um, wear my handbag. Yep. And what I love about this bag, this is the old Teddy Blake bag. And what I love about this bag, it takes you from morning into the evening. Guys, this bag is versatile. I've had it about six months now. And in terms of where I take it, I take it to all my meetings because it's easy to carry. It holds everything I need to carry. Umbrellas, um, notepads, pens, my phone, my keys. Everything is in here. My water, everything I need that you could and it's got lovely compartments guys it's really a strong bag now if you guys are interested in the teddy blake bag i mean a few of you have asked me where i've got it from and what i'll do i'll put the link down below because if you're interested in a teddy, in a teddy blake bag i do know they've got a 75 percent off sale on their site at the moment so it's something that you could have a look at and if you actually miss the sale i've also got a um a code discount code and I'll put it on the screen below because I never can remember what my codes are. So I'll put it on the screen below and then just have a look if that's something you're interested in. So moving forward into the week, um, what else am I going to probably wear? Now, there's another day I've got quite a few meetings, but also as well, this uh, a particular day, I'm going to meet um, a new client. So I don't want something overdressy, but I want something that's going to be comfortable and kind of smart at the same time. So I've got this blue dress, and again, it's another pre-marked dress, quite stretchy and nice, but not too hot. Because I'm layering, I don't want to be too hot. So got that dress as well. Um, so more than likely, I'll put on that dress. Again, I'm gonna pair that with my boots, because literally, as I said, I haven't got time to think about different shoes, different days, same type of jewelry. And in terms of accessories, more than likely, I'm going to put on um, a belt with it, this belt. And again, with this belt, this is the kind of belt. I mean, you can get this from Shein, these, these belt like this. And with this belt, you can kind of also turn it round to the front or you can turn it round to the back, wear it how you want to. That's how I'm going to style it. Also, more than likely, I'm going to be putting on um, one of these coats, like a crombie type of coat and um, this type of style. And this I've had a couple of years. I think this was from, I think it's Asda. Yeah, George Asda. And Primark have got these as well last year. And I think you can get something very similar this year. But it just gives you an idea of the type of styles that I'm kind of putting together. So also, another outfit I've got for the week as well is um, this dress. So this dress, you guys have seen me wear it on the channel before, but I love it. It's, it's one of those dresses that are very, very simple, very easy to wear. And what I like about it, it's quite thin, but also because I don't like to wear too much sort of heavy woolen, this is perfect. Um, again, team it with the belt, as I showed you before, and the, the boots as well. Um, in terms of a long coat, mix and match your coats, however you want to mix and match it. So that's probably what I'll wear in the week now towards the end of the week i know that i'm going to be going to um a sort of a small meeting but also i need to go and do some shopping and get some bits and also meet up with a friend so this is probably what i'm going to be wearing um this one 
yeah I'll probably be wearing this jumper dress that you guys have seen it quite recently on the channel as well. I'll probably put on something like that. Let's hang it back up here. Right, so more than likely I'll probably wear that jumper dress. Again, I'll team that with um, probably just a pair of ordinary black leggings I'll team it with. And then also as well, I'll probably put on the black boots with that. Or if I've got, I've got brown boots, I might put a brown boots with it. But I don't think I've got them here, the brown boots. But I'll probably put a black pair of boots with it. Because again, I want something easy just to put on, to run around. And just to take me throughout the whole day. Right. Now, towards the tail end of the week is when I'm doing my filming. When I'm, you know, probably going to the different shops. Maybe looking for hauls and things like that. I need to do it. And also I need to do a lot of errands you know, towards the end of the week, going into the weekend. So then what I tend to um, be wearing around those times, guys, I'll get out something very simple, like a pair of trainers up on. Um, also, more than likely, it will be something like a kind of um, sweatshirt like this one. And also a pair of jeans. Very quick pair of jeans I'll put on with it as well. You, do, you know I like my distressed jeans, guys. So I put my distressed jeans on with it, pair that up together, and then more than likely I'll throw on this hoodie. Yeah. I do like this hoodie, one of my best purchases ever. It's so easy to wear. And it's got the hood as well. So it's just like a like a body warmer. Um, I do love, did I, did I say hoodie? I meant body warmer. Yeah, love this black body warmer. I'm loving it. And it's so easy to wear because you literally want to run around hopping in and out of the car, hopping in and out of the shops, make sure you're, you're comfortable, that you've got something on your feet that are comfortable and then keep it kind of moving that way. So that's kind of like my week ahead in terms of um, my outfits for the week. So yeah, let's have another sip of my, my pumpkin spice latte. And guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave the vlog because it's been, it's been, it's been a bit of a week. So I'm going to, I guess on my curry chicken cooking, yeah guys, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and spending a few days with me and I'll see you guys on my very next video. So take care guys and I'll see you soon. See you later, bye.